Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool that will assist us when it comes to plotting. And specifically, what it's going to help us do is it's going to help us create reduced plan sheets from those created within our model. So let me explain. I've got in Civil 3D right now, my model is currently open and it represents some plan and profile sheets for along my roadway. Those plan and profile sheets have been defined in several layouts across the bottom of my page. And uh, those different sheets are currently set up right now to be 22 by 34. What I would like to do is create an 11 by 17 reduce set such that I could print those off very quickly and carry them around in the field truck, not necessarily have to, uh, when I print, rely on having to do large size sheets. So let's look at a command that will allow us to do that quite easily that being page setups. So we're gonna to go to the page setup manager. And when we go into the page setup uh, manager command, we'll see the different layouts that are currently set up for us. Now, if you've plotted before, and I'm gonna make the assumption that everybody here has, uh, I can go ahead and select on modify to see what's currently set up in this page setup. We see that this is currently set to do a DWG to a PDF. Uh, the size of my sheet is 34 by 22. It's going to print the layout at one-to-one, -one. Uh, my plot style table, you know, everything looks good. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to set it up for a reduce sheet set, but I'd like to automate it a bit. So rather than filling this out and then having to put it back each time that I want to do this, we're going to take and save all of this information into a page setup file. So we're going to go ahead and select our, our layout, and we'll say new, and we can build a new one. We're going to give this one a name. I'll call it PDF. I like to put in the page setup name, like where it's going to be going first. Then uh, maybe the size. So I'll say 11 by 17 and I'll call it reduced so that I know that it's a reduction and not maybe a full size sheet. So we'll see why that's important here in just a moment. So we'll say, okay. Now I'm going to fill out the same information, but it's going to use as a starting point, the values that we looked at for the layout we were just in. So I'm going to keep it as a PDF, DWG to PDF. The sheet size, if we go to 11 by 17, uh, we're going to set this to uh, ANSI expand. Uh, we'll say uh, B, 11 by 17. Actually, we'll do 17 by 11 because that'll still give us a landscape view. All right, now I need to change a couple of things because at a one by one scale or one to one, if we do a preview, we see that that absolutely is not going to fit on our reduced sheet. So what we're going to do, a couple things that I'm going to change. Rather than plotting um, the layout, I'm going to plot a window so I can define what it is I want to see. So I'm going to plot from the corner of the border up here to the corner of the border down here. Because at the end of the day, I'd still like this to scale. Uh, right now, I think this is at, uh, you know, if it's at 50 scale and we reduce it down, it'll be uh, half that generally uh, be uh, 100 scale. Uh, if we reduce it by an even amount, it would still be scalable. So another thing that I like to do is have a scale bar so that those folks that look at the uh, reduced size sheet, they know that it's been reduced even if the number still reads the uh, original scale from the larger sheet. So we'll go ahead and say we want to do a window. And then uh, we're going to say not fit to paper because that would be random. We'll say scale, we'll say 1 to 2. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to uh, center that on the page. Now as we do that, it will, Civil 3D or AutoCAD essentially, will be giving us lines letting us know if for some reason that's going to be creeping off the page. So let's go ahead and click preview to see what we get. And when I look at that, it's, it's actually just cropping off the top line and the bottom line of my border. The way that I would fix that is I would go back and I would create a border consistent that would work on both so that whatever my output device was, it wouldn't be cropping that off. For right now, we'll say that's going to be good rather than take the time to go back and, and resize the, uh, the geometry around the outside of the border. So that's working out all right. I now have a PDF. I've got it reduced to 11 by 17. It's going to be to scale because it's one to two. It's centered on the page. The other thing that I'm going to do, it's important to click, is we want to say scale the line weights. Because the line weights that are currently defined with our line widths, if you will, for a uh, 22 by 34 inch sheet, we obviously want to scale those down if we're going to scale it to 11 by 17. Otherwise, our, our text and that will have a tendency to blob much like what it looks like in the uh, current display that we're seeing here. So we'll scale the line weights. That looks good. We'll go ahead and preview that. 
that works out nice. Let's uh, exit and we will say OK. And now an 11 by 17 reduced is automatically added for us on the sheet. You know what? Since we've created one of these, let's maybe make another one here if we wanted to go down to uh, maybe 8.5 by 11. We'll say PDF. We'll say uh, 8.5 by 11. Uh, and we'll say reduced as well. You know, you can come up with whatever naming convention makes sense for, uh, for how you want to use it. In this case, we'll come down and say this is going to be an ANSI expanded A, 11 by 8.5. And, a half. and uh, this time I'm not, I'm not going to worry about trying to get something that will actually scale. We'll just get it down to where it fits on the page. So we're still going to do window, center of the plot, but I'm going to say fit to paper. And if we preview then, scale the line weights. And if we say preview, we'll click. That automatically now creates for us a PDF that's reduced down to 8.5 by 11. All right. So in the matter of a couple of seconds here, we can build these, uh, basically saving these configurations. And then when it comes time to output our sheets, let's go ahead and say OK. When it comes time to output our sheets, what I would do for my plan and profile or the sheet that's current I would come down and select, uh, right now it's it's set to do 22 by 34. I'd like to do a reduction on that. So I'm going to highlight that and we'll say set current. And if you watch in my display, we say set current, we see it automatically updates the, the layout that if we were to plot it, it would go to a PDF and it would be a reduced 8.5 by or 11 by 17. Let's go ahead and select this guy, set it current. Boom, it automatically updates that. It's 8.5 by 11 and that's ready to go where it needs to. All right, if we wanted to do these in mass, all right, what I would do is I would set these to print using the publish command. Let's go ahead and close out of here. What I would do is come back and select my different sheets. We'll select all of them. Right click and I'll go to the command that says publish selected layouts. And uh, if I wanted to send all of these to the output device that did 22 by 34, we'd select the first one, shift click the last one, click on the down arrow here. And, uh, oh, you know what? I didn't, uh, didn't actually save one of those. So we'll go back. Let's, let's go back, do one of those. Because I want to be able to set it back. My uh, Plan and Profile 2 sheet here, that's already set up to uh, 22 by 34 because I didn't change that one. So we'll go back to this guy. We'll say Page Setup Manager. We'll say, Mo we'll say New, not Modify. This will be, uh, we'll say PDF. 22 by 34, put it in 34, and I'm just going to call this original, and we'll say OK. All right, uh, we're doing PDF. By default, I had this set to DWF. Let's change that. This is going to be DWG to PDF. All right, that's good. Uh, no scaling line weights, one to one. That all looks good. We'll go ahead and preview that. And there's my standard for 22 by 34, all right? So the one thing I probably should have done is captured it in its current state. That way I could restore to that. So there's my 22 uh, by 34 in the event that I needed to do that, okay? So we've got that guy saved now. Let's go ahead, grab uh, all of my sheets. Once again, we will right-click, and we'll say that we would like to publish the selected layouts. If I want to do a 22 by 34 inch set, we'll select the first one, grab the last one. Uh, we'll click on the down arrow. We'll say that this is going to be 22 by 34. They're all set for 22 by 34, and I can say publish. All right, so if that was set up to a device in uh, the office, maybe in the, the back corner where we're doing CAD work, maybe uh, I had a different page set up that was set to a totally different printer. We'll go ahead and hit publish, and those guys are gone. I want another copy that I can do a reduce set that we can carry in the truck. We'll grab the same thing. We'll now set it to 11 by 17 reduced. We'll say publish. Now those things are, are printed off maybe to a different printer for a smaller set. I want something even smaller that's going to be a uh, check set or 8.5 by 11 that somebody can glance and just see that the uh, spacing and how it's laid out in the pages looks good. We'll go ahead and set that to 8.5 by 11 reduced. We'll hit publish. Those go and it, it prints for us in the background. All right, very, uh, very, very easy process to do this. We can do it one sheet at a time. We can do multiple sheets at a time through this batch process here to be able to send those out. The great part about these page setups is once they're built, I'm not going to go ahead and save this. I could also save this so that the next time I do it, I just restore whatever list that I've created. We won't worry about doing that right now. 
Um, once these page setups are created, we'll come back. Oops, we'll restore my page. We'll go back to uh, my my uh, plan and profile page one here. Oop, we're on that. We'll right click. There we go. I'm going to go to two here. We'll go to page setup manager. Uh, the one of I, once I've activated Page Setup Manager, I can see my page setups. The great thing about these is they live within the file. With these living within the file, I can have them set in a template so that they're automatically available for me all the time. All right, so they're always there. Now, the question is if maybe I create some today and they're not part of my existing sheets, although I create it as part of my template now, how do I incorporate it? Or maybe I go in and make a a change to one, how do I migrate that into the sheets when I need them? That's what this import button here is for. All right, let's say that uh, I've got a new, everybody's got a printer on their desk now, an HP 7520 that they can do check sets right at their desk to verify things without having to take it into the other room. I've got one set up, we'll go ahead and say import. I'm gonna go to my uh, template file here that has those in it. We'll click on open. I can see that listed here. We'll go ahead and select it. When I click on open, that automatically adds it, and then we'll set that as my current one for my sheet two. My sheet two updates to uh, to look at that or to represent that. We'll click on modify. We see now that it's gonna go to that printer. We see it's letter size, window, center. It's automatically gonna scale it and the line weights. And then I can even come in here because it's a check set, I can start you know tweaking some of the other values if I'd like to alter the quality. All right, if it's a, uh, you know, whether any presentation graphics or, or something other than that. All right, tons of things we can do with page setups. So a lot of times I know folks, you know, you're trying to get something out the door that I just want to be able to hit the layout and hit plot. Maybe I'll do a publish for all of them. But page setups gives the ability to, to take that beyond, do reductions and a number of other things as well. So hope this is helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.